So again, we selected our database here, and then we ran a query. So we do that by using the function mysql underscore query, and then we pass it the query. So we created a number of queries like this in phpMyAdmin. None of them were quite this simple, but the language is the same. So anything that works in phpMyAdmin in that query window will also work for the MySQL query function. What this returns is an object, and we can't do much with that object directly, but we can use other functions in order to pull out the individual rows and do something with that data. So in this next step, we begin with an output variable that's empty. That's where we're going to store our output. And then we loop through each row of our result by using a function called MySQL fetch array. And the one parameter we pass to it is the result that we got back from MySQL query. What MySQL fetch array will do is grab a row from our result set and put it inside of this variable here. We're calling it row. And that row will contain an array of all of the information that we returned from our query. What MySQL fetch array will also do is move a pointer to the next row. So the next time this runs, you see that this is in a while statement, it will grab the next row in the result set. Now that pointer idea is, is an invisible thing, but it's important to understand that we don't have to move anything forward, that this MySQL fetch array will automatically go to the next row every time it runs. And when it gets to the end of the rows, it will actually return false. So when we say that row equals false, row will equal false, and this while statement will end. Because, as you know from previous videos, while will only run while this condition inside is true. So this is a lot like how we used for each in order to loop through an array. Every time for each ran, it would grab the element from that item in the array, and then move a pointer to the next element. So it will run for each, through every item and then stop once we got to the end. Within this while loop, we're using a for each loop to loop through each item in the row array. And we're pulling out the key and value so we can display them. And then we're adding the key and the value to the output on a new line. So we say that the key equals the value and then we add a break. And we add one additional break at the end of each row in order to separate the records. And finally, once we put all this together, we go ahead and print it out. So if we go back to the browser and we refresh, you can see what's inside of each row that gets returned from MySQL fetch array. We have a key of zero that has a value of George, a key of name that also has a value of George, a key of one that has a value of 10, and a key of shoe size that has a value of 10. Now you see this number increment. It goes from zero to one to two to three. And this number gives us one way to access the data within the row. But we can also access the data by using the column name. At the end of one record, you see we have this break. And then we begin with Sally, and you see that the keys are all identical here. And same with Deepak. 